Hello. We are going to give uh, Flowblade a try. This is a Git version. November 15th, 2015. And we're going to try by um, dragging in a video, a 4K video that is. Let's see if we can just drag it in. Looks like no. The icon says red. So, my bad. Let's import. Let's add a clip. There it is. Let's drag it into the timeline. There it is. Let's try to play it back. Well, it's certainly not impossible. It lags appropriately because my system is quite slow. For 4K video processing, that is. So I just try jumping in the timeline. It's taking its time. We're just going to be patient. Unless, of course, uh, pressing somewhere doesn't do what I think it does. Maybe it just pauses for playback. So let's, yeah, this is where we jump. So I jump here. Yeah, pressing somewhere just pauses it. So my bad. I can jump ahead. Jump back, but you have to restart playback. All right, so I can move around frame by frame. I can play backwards, which is way slower. And now let's see how how do I. Mm, yeah, what do what do we want? I guess uh, first thing interest first interesting would be to split the audio. Synced. Not sure why synced. Not sure what, why this still has audio in it. Mm, okay. Can I drag? Can I? Apparently... N n what the hell? I'm trying to drag things, but it's it starts... If I do it... Yeah, sometimes it gives me this weird... What the hell? I don't... So if I don't touch it the right way... It gives me this weird icon. So apparently I cannot move uh, clips freely in the timeline, which is uh, a bit confusing. I can move them across uh, tracks, so... Again, I have to... Come on. What? Ah, so... Seriously annoying. Let me just drag this. Alright, so let's try cutting things. Ah, so we cut by pressing X and it just cuts where the playhead is. And apparently it cuts everything. Oops. And looks like there's a tool for making titles. Um. Ah, here we go. Mm. Let 
me just check. We are in flow blade. So uh, let's try that again. Flow blade. And um, let's make the font a bit huge. Alrighty. Not sure why it seems to be in a different. Uh, what? Poof. Ooh, it wants me to save a PNG file. Curious. Um, I I have to save the layers as a file as well. Um, okay, whatever. Let's just save them over here. And I'm not sure what to do now. Okay, let's save this as well. Now what? Close? Okay. How do we add a title? I guess we will find out later. Well then... Oh, there it is. So I guess we have to make it blend somehow. Let's assume it's in compositors. Um, not sure. Filters as it is? No. Project, render, compositor. So maybe this. Cut. Cut. No, probably not. We have Oh, let's just zoom. I assumed it was markers. Audio mixer. Audio mixer. Title R. Mm, strange, strange tooltips. Okay. Transitions. They didn't fit out. Let's have a. F what? That's confusing. Why do I have to encode a transition? Oh well, um, and I have to render it instantly. All right, I guess. Interesting. Ouch, that screwed up for audio. Ow. Fascinating stuff. So, um, I still want to see the title. Let's give it more range log. No. Filter. Hmm. Okay. Um, does this change anything? All right. Um, maybe something else. quite sure. Mm, what else can we do? Let's just do a stupid crop. Uh, is, is this going to show? Oop, no, no, not blur. I think that would be way too uh, expensive. So, um, yeah, what 
What now? Do I not get to preview the crop? I guess not. Okay, so one more last one last try. Let's try to composite render tools mm, project view um, still looking for a way to composite the title above the video we can hide the video the title Compositor, wipe region picture and picture. Mm, this mm, blend. Let's try blend. All right, that seems fine. Even though a bit weird, looks like some kind of uh, graphic graphics driver glitch. <coughs> okay, uh, blend mode. Okay, interesting. Lighten. All that fun stuff. <coughs> so then, let's uh, try to get rid of this. Okay, let's add another add compositor. <coughs> Read. Mm, yeah. Okay. Affine blend. Okay. Cool. Cool. That's nice to have. Uh, Controls of the movement uh, outside of a track viewer, <coughs> uh, outside of a track monitor. So, uh, yeah. What else shall we take a look on? There's a renderer. We can pick lossless. No, certainly not lossless. But let's MP, take MP4 and uh, yeah, this one. And let's, why not? Let's render it. We see this now. And oh, um, okay. Hmm, actually, let's stop this. Okay, and let's try to change the mm, project. Basically, I want to change that this is not a DVD uh, size me video. I mean, come on. So, what do we have? Image sequence, color clip, pattern producer. Hmm. Change project settings. How about this? Oh, maybe we have to do this here. All right, um, profile. I want a different profile, please. Sequence. Okay. Profile. Okay, so let's try. Save. Untitled. Untitled. This is not a filter. I think. But okay, let's try a new. Yes, we don't want DVD, we want 4K. Um, we don't have the option to use 4K. I guess we'll have to go with 1080p then. Oh well. Um, this is strange. Strangely non-flexible, it seems. Okay, so what? Let's. Oh yeah, we cannot. We cannot drag and drop. Let's add some 4K again. There it is. Let's drag it in. Uh, 
let's cut it up. Alright, and now, oh yeah, we can just, oh, that was a lot. Let's put this at, oh, no, let's, come on, let's put this at the end. Hmm. Ugh. Alright, I'm, I'm done for now. Thanks for watching.